Hello everyone, today we are doing a full booze of first impressions. So, already I tried out the Barley Body, was it? The Fig Tan. By the way, everything I'm mentioning today was mentioned in my previous video, the PR unboxing haul with giveaways, so make sure you check that video out, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, I put on the Fig Tan and I'm kind of shocked at how dark it is. It's so dark. This is obviously like the, um, the colour that goes on when you put it on. What's it called? The colour guard, I guess. Obviously it's not rinsed or anything, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of colour it goes. But first impression, it's dark and it did go on very easily. I've got some dry skin on my chest that it clung to, but I'm assuming that's just the colour guard. And hopefully when I rinse it off, like, you won't be able to tell anymore. That's usually what happens with other tans I use, so fingers crossed. And I also tried the face water. Obviously it's not developed yet, it goes on clear, but it felt fine. It didn't feel drying or wet or anything like that. And it actually gave me a little bit of a glow. This is it here, Barley Body face tan water. So next I'm going to finally try the 4th Ray Beauty Strawberry and Papaya Face Milk. Um, I keep meaning to try out the face milks and keep forgetting. So this is my first time. It just says to apply 2-3 to three drops into the palms of your hand, warm it up and then gently press into the skin and use it as needed. Oh it's thicker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a serum or something like that. Let's make that a little bit darker so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to warm it up and then it just says I want to smell it. It smells like um, like a strawberry cocktail. Mmm, smells good. And then it just has to press it in. My skin does feel a little bit dry, so this should be nice. And then we'll follow up with a primer. It kind of feels a little bit sticky, which, I mean, isn't necessarily bad. I'm going to apply a little bit more because I feel like I just missed a lot of my face. I'm going to use my fingertips. I'm sure it's fine, right? Um, but yeah, I feel like my skin feels like hydrated. It added a glow. It's a little bit sticky, so probably quite good before makeup you know um not like sticky uncomfortable just like you know a little bit sticky the smell is unreal all right before we prime i'm just gonna let that sink in for a second and just let you guys know that we have a brand new product on xy beauty shop i left a little sneaky peek in one of my videos um where you could see xy beauty on this hair towel and i was like i wonder if anyone's gonna pick up on it literally immediately someone in my xy beauty vip group on facebook was like anyone see this like put up a picture i loved it i was like hell yeah you guys are the best but i've made my own hair towel i joked about it ages ago because i can never find a hair towel in stores that i truly loved like i always liked heaps of them always recommended them but they were either never long enough or the ones that were long enough were like ridiculously expensive or they would go weird after a wash or two or uh they weren't soft enough absorbent enough like whatever the case may have been I've tried so many like real cheap ones and they never fit all my hair in them and they dry my hair slightly and then just kind of that's it you know and they just never worked the way I wanted them to so I created my own I was like you know what we're gonna do it we're actually gonna do it I never thought you know that that would be something I would make but I was like I've been wearing these hair towels for literally years and I know exactly how it should be so I've made it perfect it is literally the best hair towel in the whole world and I, shit you not, you'll probably never find one that you like more than this one, so make sure you give it a go if you do like hair towels. It is the softest material I've ever seen in my life. Um, I would love to have just like an entire loungewear set made out of this exact fabric. It's so comfortable. It's really lightweight on your head as well. Some of the other ones I've tried have weighed down my hair more than like anything else so like this one's really lightweight but like ultra ultra absorbent it's insane like it's so good so yeah if you want to check it out i'll link it down below here's the really cute packaging we've done up for it i am in love and i'm pretty sure you can get it at farmer sylvia park too if you guys are interested in you know having a look at it in real life it fits any um like hair thickness as well because there's so much room in it and if you've got long hair like me there's still room like my hair goes down to the like bottom of my back and there's still room so yeah if you've got short hair too it still works because it's so lightweight it's not going to feel bulky and gross on your head it's insane it's so good i'm going to try out this primer i think this is the water jelly by huda beauty i think i have enough stuff here to do a couple of full face of first impressions so if you're keen for another one make sure you thumbs up this video water jelly hydrating primer 35 ml product which is decent and it has a pump i like the way it looks it's quite cool. Now that this is settled in, it no longer really feels sticky at all. Like, it just feels smooth and moisturized. Um, a little bit more lightweight than a moisturizer, but a little bit more heavy, obviously, than a serum. So, oh, that literally feels like water. I thought it'd be really thick, but no. Wow, that's unique. It melts down. 
and it literally feels like water like it feels like a serum almost so I'm just gonna massage that on all over my face by the way the rash on my eye is slowly healing if you didn't see I got some like I don't know eczema or something under my eye so slowly healing itself I probably shouldn't wear makeup but I've worn makeup literally almost every day since it happened <laughs> okay first impression I really like the way that feels um, it kind of hydrates a bit, but it also does, once again, have a kind of sticky finish for obviously putting your makeup on top, like quite a good idea. Um, it's not uncomfortable at all. It gave me a really pretty glow. It just feels nice. So, so far I do like this. I like the packaging too. I just think it looks very like 90s jelly vibes. <laughs> I'm just going to put on some of the Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask while I do my base. So this one is in Toasted Coconut. Mmm, smells really good like coconut. And it's like a nude brown. I'm assuming you just apply it like a lip balm, right? I don't know. It doesn't really say. Feels thick, but not sticky at all. Just feels really nourishing. It feels nice. I like it. Has a weird taste though. I think I put on too much. And then, 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 then. <laughs> Does not taste how it smells. Okay, so for foundation, I was going to try this one. But this, uh, what's the brand again? I forget. Bali Body of the Fate Tan is so dark. So hopefully it matches. We're just going to wing it and hope for the best. So this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation in the shade 2W1 Macadamia. And the packaging is really pretty. It's got like this kind of matte, semi-matte, semi-shiny kind of rose goldy goldy lid. And then it's just a nice glass packaging. It's actually quite portable, I would say. Like it's very small. It's a little bit heavy because it's glass but not too heavy. You know, the details. No one actually cares, Shannon. No one cares, but I'm still gonna tell you anyway. And I have a wetter sponge, but I think first I might just outline my eyebrows quickly with concealer. What's new? So I have this one here. This is light sand. Wait, I, I think I've got a darker one. I might need it. Here we go, light medium sand. This is the Tarte C Hydro Sealer. The packaging is this light green oval shape once again very portable this is really lightweight and it's got a little doe foot applicator nothing revolutionary or oh, it looks very lightweight look at do you see what I mean like kind of streaky obviously we'll see how it blends it is a hydrating formula so you know you wouldn't expect it to be dry and cakey of course you see what I mean how it's a little bit streaky and funny I mean let's just build it up a little bit and blend it with a brush and then we'll see. Hopefully the lighting's are up today because I'm filming a little bit later than normal. I've done so many things this morning. Worked out, put out a video, edited. What else did I do? Um, washed my hair, fake turned. That took ages. Yeah, this is very natural and lightweight. I mean, if you want something full coverage tart, do the shape tape. This is like the opposite of shape tape. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's really my cup of tea, but I mean, we can try it under the eyes. It does feel quite liquidy, so honestly, I feel like it'll just sink into my fine lines under my eyes, but I guess we'll find out. Like, look, I'm just not very impressed with that coverage. Maybe if you didn't need a lot of coverage, you know, you might like it. If you find other concealers a little bit too heavy, but for me, like, I mean, I've got stuff to cover, so it's probably not really my ideal product. It has a beautiful finish though. Like, once again, if you don't want the coverage, like as much coverage, and you like a glow, actually look, it blends a little bit nicer if you just let it set in place for a second. It like thickens and sets halfway, and then you can blend it out, and it does have a little bit more, I don't know, it just goes on a bit more opaque, so there's a little hack for you. And I like it with a brush. I feel like with a sponge it might just soak up, but we'll try it under the eyes later. It still looks beautiful more natural like once it's blended like I look back at it now I'm like I mean it's really pretty it's really really pretty but at the end of the day I mean I've got super veiny eyelids so I do think I need more coverage than this this last coffee is so good all right so I'm just gonna take a pump oh it's there we go okay that was three pumps literally one pump is tiny look at that <laughs> Imagine doing the, um, what is it called? One dip challenge or whatever I did on my channel. I'll link that video below, but imagine doing that <laughs> with this one. Like, it actually spreads out quite far. Look at that. Mm, it's got that kind of, like, foundation smell. 
which I love. I find it super nostalgic because it reminds me of like, I don't know, just being a teenager and packing foundation all over my skin. I don't know why. So this has a similar look. I wonder if it's like one of the primers or something or if it's actually just these products. Do you know what I mean? Because like this has a similar look to the concealer where it kind of like went on a little bit streaky looking. I wonder if it's the um, primer or moisturizer I used or if it's just once again a little bit of a runnier consistency. I'm going to put some on my hand and just like see how it goes on. I think that might just be how it is because it looks kind of the same on my hand so there you go. It looks really pretty once it's blended out. I think it is a little bit more sheer on my face though still. Well, that's very beautiful though. Wow. Look at the glow. And I think we're gonna need a lot of it. Bronzer today team. Let's pack some more on. I'm gonna build it up so we're gonna use like 12 pumps. <laughs> Not actually but nearly. Mm, I love the smell. It's so good. And I'm just popping that under the eyes. I don't know if I'm using too much but I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a little bit of this to like around my nose and stuff like that in the like medium sand, which matches a little bit better. I'm just letting the stuff under my eyes just sit there for a moment so I can maximize the coverage. All right, now let's give it a go. Actually, with a sponge, it works really well too. I thought it wouldn't because it was quite runny, but it's not really soaking in to my sponge. It's just spreading really nicely and it's a really nice brightening shade on me as well. Under the side it's gonna look a, bit, a little bit dodgy with all that dry skin. Shush. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I do think I'll probably give these to a friend because I don't really think it's the kind of thing I would reach for a lot. But yeah, I don't think it's bad. I think it just depends on what your preferences are and what you need in a product. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just not really what I need. I'm going to take the Dragon Beauty Dragon Heart Transformation Face Powder because it does look like, I honestly think I'm going to try out this peachy one under my eyes. I feel like it'll just help to brighten up those like kind of purple undertones I do have. I've never tried any Dragon Beauty. I'm going to use a small face brush. Someone said that they enjoy how I actually let you guys know what brushes I'm using so I will continue. <laughs> Sometimes I get frustrated when I'm watching tutorials and people are like using a really cool looking brush and then they don't really say what it is. Oh, that really did brighten. Look at that. That looks really good. Um, oh my god, I'm actually kind of shocked. That like helped to conceal. I'm always looking for good under eye powders because a lot of them look so heavy and make my under eyes look so much worse. So I'll let you guys know through the video if it starts doing that. But first impression, woo, that is amazing. <laughs> Gonna take a bit of the yellow one on my eyelid. Yeah, they actually give a bit of coverage, you guys. I like that, because that just helped to conceal. Can you see what I mean? It just helped to conceal some of those veins, the yellow one. Now, before we continue, I have number two from my advent calendar with MAC. If you want to see what was in number one, then check out my PR haul. Obviously, while I'm filming this, it's the 2nd of December. Um, by the time you're seeing this, it's probably freaking Christmas time, but hey, <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> so in number two, we have cute it's an all that glitters eyeshadow throwback look at it oh my gosh that is a throwback wasn't there a youtuber called all that glitters anyway i got eyelash glue stuck in my eyelash <laughs> so i actually have two um cream bronzers i think i might use this one though i really like the look of the undertone so this is the danessa myricks beauty um like cream bronzer in the shade light so i'm just going to use the back of my sponge where i've not used the concealer or anything I'm just going to tap that on. So yeah, this is the shade Light. And I just like didn't even look at it before I, um, I mean, before I kept it to be honest. But I probably could have kept medium as well because this is very light. But it does do a really nice job at just like giving a little bit of shape to my face. Look at that. I love the undertone too. This is not a contour shade by any means. It's very warm, but I love warm bronzer. I just think they look so pretty. Oh my goodness, look how easy that blends too. I'm gonna do it a little bit on my nose. It's a really nice creamy, balmy kind of texture. Oh my god, I might have to like go get my shade medium and keep that because I can tell I would use this a lot. Oh, I'm a fan. Look at the color. That's so pretty, okay. So now we can set all of this in place with a setting powder. Do I have a new one? I know I got some loose ones in um, my power haul but I donated them all so I don't really, like, I don't need any more loose powders and none of them were revolutionarily different to what I already have if you know what I mean. I'm just re-blending under my eyes because I did get a little bit of wrinkliness but 
yeah, it's not bad. I'm only using a thin layer of powder and today we're using the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette which is just going to be a really smoky eye I suppose because it's just like a whole lot of chocolatey browns and everything. This is the Doll Beauty Medium Bronzer and I'm actually going to use a fan brush today. This is a contour fan brush and I'm just going to dust the bronzer around my hairline first just to get some color and shape. I'm going to take a little bit on the tip and run it down my nose and then just kind of like over those same kind of areas where I put the cream bronzer. Well at least my face matches my body now before it was a little bit pale. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with this even though it's not really a contour color like whatever I'm just winging it. <laughs> I like it. It blends nice. The color's nice. This is called it Chase but spelled like this. There we go. <laughs> Chase pressed powder blush. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to pop that on like the higher points of my cheeks. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know what's going on right here, but I've got like this little like dot of like a breakout or something popping up, so cute. Just quickly before we start on the eye makeup, I'm going to set all the powders we've done so far with the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Stay Spray. This seems to shake it well. I'm just gonna do a couple test ones. It's a very fine mist. Very happy with how that's all looking all right. So for the brows, we do have a new brow pen kind of product. I think I'm gonna go with medium brown. So this is the Tarte Big Ego DIY Brow Detailing Pen in the shade medium brown. I haven't actually seen this before. Oh, it looks like a like literal like pen, gel pen. And it's like a little slanted brush, almost like an eyeliner. Oh my gosh, how does it work? Shake well? Does it just automatically like come out? How have I never seen this before? I don't really know what to do. Um, let me zoom you in. I'm just gonna go over. Oh, that color is perfect with my brow tattoo. Can you see that? Let me draw a little bit just here. See how I've got this little patch right here? Like, look at it. I'm using a very light hand. And it's just giving me a nice little brush. I really like that first impression wise. Yeah, I've kind of done like almost too much. Like it's too perfect. <laughs> Cause now it looks literally like drawn on with a Sharpie. Okay, hold on, let me do the other one and then we'll brush them out. Like look how thin those lines are. I don't really mind if I get a bit out of control because we'll prime our eyelids and clean it up. So let's uh, ruffle them up a little bit. I'm just gonna use my Gimme Brow and just apply that oh, my throat just made a really weird noise that was awkward like my brows just look ridiculously perfect i don't know how to make them look more natural i mean this used to be the look i would like strive for and now i'm just kind of like more of a natural brow looking person um but hey we'll rock it today see how i kind of drew it too far sorry if this video is eight years long once again but hey just like that. I'm just gonna go all the way across, apply that, and I'll be right back and we'll do some shadow. All right, taking it the Naughty Palette by Huda Beauty, we've got a crease blender brush. And we're gonna start with the shade, maybe Arouse. Ooh, that's a very intense <laughs> name for a eyeshadow. Picks up real nice. I'm going to tap that just through the crease. You guys know the drill. I like to tap it on top of the base first and then use like blending motions. Ooh, I love the color. That's so pretty. That'll really make green eyes pop too because it's got those kind of red undertones, except not red as in like berry red that we've been seeing constantly over the last few years. This is like a terracotta kind of warm red, orangey red rather than berry. It's nice. So now I'm just using small circular, sorry if this freaking camera doesn't focus, I feel like I'm due for a new camera soon because this one always has issues. <laughs> so annoying. Actually, I bought this camera and literally within like a week it broke already and the touch screen would go crazy so I had to deactivate the touch screen. But I just couldn't be bothered sending it back and like waiting for a new one because I wanted to film. Oh my god, I just dropped that. Um, so I've just always had this broken camera and I really should have got a replacement because it was brand new but I was just lazy. Sometimes I just hate being an inconvenience to people too and being like, hey, um, this is broken. <laughs> like I don't like doing that to companies. <laughs> Even though it's within my rights, I'm like, mm, I just feel awkward. So whatever. So yeah, just buffing that out. I might just go in with another layer and just intensify the color close to the crease. I'm not doing anything crazy today, guys, for this eye makeup look, by the way. I've got dinner tonight. We're getting all-you-can-eat Chinese food. 
goodbye. I'm gonna have a stomach ache for like the next six days, but it'll be so worth it. Anyway, a little bit more aroused. Just a little bit more aroused. Just a bit. Just a bit. Okay. <laughs> so weird. Um. Anyway, yeah, putting that closer to the crease. I love this color. Okay, I really am curious to swatch some of these on my finger because I don't know how they're gonna come. How how they're gonna come on my eye? <laughs> oh, wow, my mind's in the gutter. By the way, guys, my friend Kelly, she's editing this right now. Um, you guys remember Kelly? If you've been an OG follower since I had almost black hair and lived at my dad's house, you know Kelly. You know Kelly. So she's been like helping me occasionally, like edit, because it gets a lot. And I used to have an editor, but she's been helping me out. And she does an amazing job, but I just laugh every time I'm filming videos like this because she's the one that just has to sit there and awkwardly like edit it. <laughs> so, hey Kelly, sorry. So, I'm gonna swatch the shade hard. Man, this is so weird. Swatch the shade hard, okay. It looks like it's gonna be like a chocolatey goldy color. Okay, yeah, look, that's how it comes off. Because you can see there's all these weird swirls. So, next, let's do provocative. This one looks like it's gonna be. This is like those TikToks where you guess the paint color. Sorry, this video is going to be so long. Um, I reckon it's going to be a, like, purple. Like, not purple purple, but a neutral purple. Yeah, it is. Look. Oh, my God. I'm a genius. That's so pretty. I love that. I might put some of that on my eyelid. I'm just, like, sitting here with it on my finger. Like, you know what? We're doing it. I'm putting that right on the ball of my eye because I can't get in the inner corner with these long talons. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. We've got Flower Power. That's a bit of a random name compared to all these other ones. This one looks like it's going to be a light gold, I reckon. So, <laughs> yes. I'm a genius. That would be really nice on the brow bone. Um, this one's slippery. What even is this? Like, what is that for? Is it just like a wet look? Don't know how I feel about that. And then we've got this one, Passion which I reckon is going to be a lighter kind of purpley berry colour. Oh no, okay, that's like duochrome blue and purple. <laughs> I was not expecting that. And then you've got heaps of mattes. I love the mattes. I'm just going to take a short shadow brush and intensify the colour provocative. We're going to take it all the way to the inner corner. I love that colour. That's so beautiful. So I can't really get into this area with my fingernail, so that's good. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush I used before with Naughty, which is a deeper... It's not the darkest colour in the palette, but it's a deeper brown, um, and it looks pretty, so... We're just going to pop that on the outer corner. That's nice. I'm going to run some of that just underneath here a little. Now I'm going to take the darkest colour, which is spicy, so the one I said that's kind of like a purpley, like black current kind of undertone, and I'm going to pop that right on that outer corner, and then go back in with that brush, and just kind of wiggle it in there to blend it. This colour here irresistible i just need it um right now all over my eye oh my god this one's like a duochrome shameless oh my god let's put some of this just like right in the ball oh my god guys i actually love these colors look at that i'm just like smacking random crap on now look at me and go in with irresistible which is this one once again and put that on at the inner corner and kind of like underneath a little this color's a bit weird. It's not applying very nicely. Like, what's going on? I feel like maybe this is a better one with your finger. Because on my finger it's fine, but on this brush it's, like, going chunky and weird. Honestly, for the top lashes, I feel like I'm just going to go, like, no liner on the top. Because I really like the way the eyeshadow looks like this. And I don't want to make it too full on. Like, if I put black eyeliner on, I just feel like it's going to be a whole new level. So I'm going to take the LA Girl Baby Pink Eyeliner. And this is going to go... In the waterline. Oh, that's pretty. Usually I use nude, but this is like a similar effect as nude because it's like pale, so it's still bright and dry. Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara. This is by Laura Mercier. The packaging's cute. This is how it looks. And the brush. It's pretty large, but it's not as like, I would say, spiky and full on as like my new NARS one, for example. See how like that one's like real full on, whereas this one I feel like you'll be able to kind of work into the lashes a little bit more because it's more like spaced out. Does that make sense? I still like this. I just find it so messy to apply. So I am nervous this is going to go everywhere. So I'm just wiggling it in. I'll do one eye to show you the before and after. Oh frick. Already. Honestly, I'm not that impressed so far. I feel like it's not really that volumizing. I easily prefer the NARS mascara that I just showed you. Um, but it does look pretty. 
it looks very fluffy and natural. If that's the vibe you like, then you might actually love this. I might use these ones that I showed in my PR haul. This is the Lift Effect Pen 744. So here is the before and after. You guys, these are stunning. Oh my gosh, so natural, but really long and fluttery. Like they're longer than I thought they would be. The mascara is terrible to remove, look. That sucks. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to pop on some concealer. I'm just going to take a wee bit of my Revolution Eye Glisten in the shade Adored by You. Um, and I'm just going to put that on my inner corner to brighten it up. Because I just feel like it needs to be a bit brighter on my skin tone. Just like this. And just like that. So yeah, do I like the palette? I do. I actually really do. The colors are stunning. I really like this eye makeup. I'm a huge fan. I'm going to try one of these. I really want to try this one. But I just feel like it's a bit full on for dinner. So maybe maybe this one. This is the Danessa Marks Beauty Illuminating Veil Liquid Highlighter in Luna. And I'm assuming this would be better, you know, without powder. Because I've already set. But I'm going to take a little bit and just try it out anyways. And just see. I feel like this would look great just like underneath your foundation all over to give you a glow. Or hopefully like this too. Ooh, that is shiny. Oh my goodness, I put it a little bit too close to my eye, so I'll just go over with a little bit of setting powder again soon, but it's actually applying pretty good. It is very foil looking. Not glittery, but like foiled, like so bright. It actually like looks pretty bomb. So I've grabbed three different things from different brands. Wait, no, two different brands. We've got a ColourPop lip pencil. This is in Cool BFF. It's actually like my lips, but better. It's very close to my natural lip color. Like I've just intensified the outer edges of my lips where I've got like no lip line and look, it looks like I filled in like my whole lip basically. Um, and then we have one of these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips in the shade Rose. Never tried these, it looks like this. And it's got a little clicker. Does it just pushes the lipstick up? Oh, okay, it's like a, um, almost a lip gloss. I can get amongst that. Feels very thick, but not sticky, just thick. And then I had a gloss too. I don't really need it, but let's put some on. This is Cobra Queen by Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. So this is how my hair looks once it's just been sitting. It's like 90% dry. So I literally just used my GHD hair dryer for like three or four minutes and that's how my hair comes out. And I didn't even use the hot setting. I used the mid um, temperature. So not cold, but like the middle. So it's not super hot and it dries so quick. So I've literally got like stuff or heat damage like... My hair doesn't snap and break. I've got new growth up here because you'll see we've got a new brain coming out soon that has a lot to do with all that new growth. Uh, hint, hint. Anyway, that's to come. That's very exciting. And that's Hamish's babe. So you guys need to like get excited about that. Holy shit, I can't wait to share. Anyway, yeah, I've got like no breakage really at all. My hair's just been growing so so well and a big part of it is hair towels and especially this one this is the best one check that out in the down bar if you want to as well and check out the other products from today most of them were hits i don't think any were like terrible but you know the mascara the concealer like i've tried better i'm obsessed with this makeup so thank you guys so much for watching and if you want another full face of first impressions don't forget to thumbs up and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye